Hello, welcome back to Quality Food Safety 101. And today we will talk about our uh, Codex Logic sequence step number 11, which is also principle number six, validation, verification, and review. These are the three topics compiled into one uh, step by the HACCP Codex Logic sequence. We will talk about all three of them and try to understand how to establish them during our HACCP journey. Let's start. So there are three topics uh, or you can say three subtopics in one step here validation verification and review so let's talk about each of them separately and understand them uh, in a proper way let's start with validation first the definition of validation is obtaining evidence that elements of the HACCP plan are effective specifically or especially that the critical control points and critical limits are effective so the main thing is that validation is about obtaining evidence you can obtain this evidence through multiple sources for example you can obtain the evidence of validation through the legal framework so if uh, the legal system or the the food code or the food law of the country says that the cooking should be done at 75 degrees celsius for certain amount of time that is the validation of your critical limit of cooking or if the uh, food department says that hot holding uh, or cold holding has to happen at a certain temperature that is the validation of the critical limit of uh, hot holding and cold holding so validation is basically uh, one of the source of validation can be the law another source of validation can be scientific evidence another source can be also uh, research by uh, uh, benchmarked organizations or big organizations all these are the sources of validation so basically, just to summarize, in validation, what we are doing is that the critical limits which we have established for our critical control points, we need to validate them to a scientific uh, uh, evidence or a legal evidence. So it gives our HACCP an international presence or international validation that our HACCP approach is correct and our critical limit will, is in fact, control the, uh, the health of the customer and our food will be safe. So that's the whole summary of the validation, basically. Then let's go for verification. Now, verifications are procedures or methods or tests in addition to monitoring. Now, this is very, very important to remember. It is in addition to monitoring to determine that the overall has a plan is compliant uh, to the food safety standards. So monitoring we are doing, if you remember that monitoring is being done uh, to make sure that the critical limits are in control. Verification is an extra check in addition to monitoring, which uh, makes sure that our HACCP plan is compliant and uh, is not going out of control. So let's suppose uh, one of the monitoring method is that uh, the temperature of the uh, food is being checked by using a thermometer. So to check the temperature is monitoring, then to check the calibration of that thermometer and to verify that the monitoring method or the, the procedure of checking uh, or monitoring was done properly, the schedule was being followed, the, uh, the employee who did the check was trained, all these things are verification. So if monitoring is checking, then checking the checker is verification. One of the very easy tool of verification is internal audits, which we use all the time. Uh, this is uh, all about the verification. Then the third thing is review. Now in HACCP, uh, there are various reasons of review. Review is basically uh, nothing more than an update. So the reassessment of the HACCP system to ensure that it's continuously up to date and is valid at all the times is called as a review. Now in HACCP, there are, can be multiple reasons of reviews. For example, uh, generally uh, uh, the HACCP system asks that a review should be done on a yearly basis. So that is a yearly review. Now in that case, what we do is that we restudy the HACCP system. And if there is some updates, we will do that. Otherwise, we don't need to review or we just mentioned that there were no updates. 
Then another reason for a review can be that if there's a new equipment which has been introduced uh, in the in the plant, so at that time we need to do a review. If the process has been changed uh, in some way or the other, that needs uh, a review as well. If there was a uh, confirmed case of food poisoning the, uh, from our food, then of course the HACCP has failed and we need to review the HACCP and, uh, and introduce the corrective actions accordingly into the HACCP plan. So if there is a change in our customer or the risk factor of the customer, that also we need to address in our review. For example, initially the company was making food for general public, but then now they are catering also to specifically to let's suppose pregnant women or uh, young kids, uh, which are uh, in the risk group. So then the customer has changed, the risk factor has changed. So now we need to review our HACCP as well. So these are some of the examples why review is required in the, in the HACCP. So this is the basic introduction of this topic. Now, just to give you a little bit more detail, let, let's look at this table. In validation, on one side, we write all of our critical limits. Now, these are some examples of the critical limits which we have, uh, which I have taken from one of my old, uh, old assignments. So we take all of our crit critical limits on one side and in front of each critical limit, we mention the validation reference. So it can be the legal reference, it can be the company policy, it can be the customer requirement. All these are examples of validation references or scientific evidence as well. So we mentioned for each critical limit from where uh, did we got this critical limit. And when we uh, complete this study, this is called as the validation uh, reference or validation of the critical limit. Similarly, for verification, for each critical limit, we mention a verification plan as well. So which is in addition to the monitoring plan. So we can uh, make sure that the HACCP system is verified as well. So let's take example of metal detectors. So metal detectors are being monitored on an hourly basis by using the metal detector, uh, the metal detector pieces uh, which are used for monitoring critical limit on an hourly basis. But in addition to that, we also do the calibration of the metal detector. We do retraining of the staff. We make sure that the schedule is being followed. All these steps are verification steps or another example is that uh, that one of the critical limits is uh, cold storage of the ready to eat food item so the monitoring of the storage unit the temperature monitoring is monitoring but in addition to that the calibration of the uh, the probe thermometer the calibration of the temperature display uh, internal audits record verification these are all verification technique which we use to verify our uh, HACCP system. So all these items for each of the CCPs have to be listed down as verification procedures. Lastly, uh, for review, uh, let's look at this uh, amendment log. We make a amendment or a review log uh, for the whole HACCP manual. In this one, we write all the changes which we do in our HACCP and the page number where these changes are being affected or we, these changes are being done. And as a result, we maintain our uh, review uh, records uh, regularly. Although on a yearly basis, we need to review the whole system. But apart from that, as we mentioned before, that whenever there's a change in the process, we need to review at that time. So we will do that. Even, uh, yeah, just one thing to add here, even a change in the HACCP team, which is also part of the HACCP process, if there's a change in that, we need to review that also. Like suppose initially there were six members in the HACCP team and one of the team members left the company and new team members have joined. So we need to update our HACCP team and that's also a review which we need to include here as a, a HACCP review uh, point. Right. So this is it for today's video. Uh, again, a very short video. Uh, we are, as we are moving towards the end of the HACCP, uh, the details of the videos or the, the videos are becoming short because now these steps are quite easy. So they, today we covered uh, validation, verification and review. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, make sure to like uh, and subscribe to our channel. Share the content. See you in the next one. And the next one will be the last video of HACCP, which is about documentation. And this has been a long journey of HACCP. See you in the next one. Thank you.